Hello everyone and welcome back to another mod review. Today we are looking at Better Farming Mod for 1.4.7. So I have all the recipes set up here with the particular item and we are going to talk about them. So, first things first, we will start with the fairly simple recipes. So you have, this mod adds quite a few different things. So we have orange juice there, lemonade, apple juice, and then there is mint tea, golden orange, golden lemon, a rake, and obviously the diamonds can be exchanged for wood, iron, stone, etc. And gold. And then we have a cute little scarecrow. I think he's just adorable. And then we have a chocolate bar, mint chocolate bar, chocolate candy, and chocolate milk, I guess. But it's just called uh, cold chocolate bottle in the items. And then we have the mint plant, seen on this side, and the nether flower. And then we have the trees. We have orange, apple, and lemon trees. And when they're full grown, like these ones, they will drop, every now and then, they will drop the item. So I'm just going to go pick all these up. So we got some oranges, got some apples, and we got some lemons. So you can find the lemon, apple, and orange trees in the forest biomes. And all you have to do is collect the fruit itself, instead of chopping down the whole tree. Just collect the fruit, open up your crafting little four thing, and then you put your lemon in, and you get your lemon seeds. Same with the apple, and then you get apple seeds, and orange, you get orange seeds. So then all you have to do is plant your seeds. I'll go over here. So there's orange, apple, lemon, and then you can use bone meal to make them grow, or you can just wait the regular amount of time, I guess, and you will get your your trees. As for the mint, it can only be planted on farmland and when you destroy it you get mint mint seeds and a mint leaf. So I'm just gonna go plant some more. There. And then you have your mint leaves. So your mint leaves can be used to make your mint tea and your mint chocolate bar. And then your nether flower can only be found in the nether, and you can plant it in the overworld with soul sand. And it will drop blaze powder and nether, nether flower seeds. So, since blaze powder is such a helpful thing in the world of Minecraft, having a few of these planted in your, your garden of sorts will probably be very helpful, since it drops blaze powder, probably safer than going into the nether all the time. And finally we're going to talk about the rake. The rake is just a tool added with the mod and if you right click on on just grass ground you have the chance of finding seeds. So I got regular seeds here, mint seeds, and apple seeds. So you can just keep going. Probably the easiest way to find mint seeds there we got some cocoa beans. So you can get cocoa beans, melon seeds, mint seeds, orange or apple or lemon. Um, pumpkin is also occasionally there, but you don't often get regular seeds either. So you can just keep going all over the place. There we got some pumpkin seeds. A wooden rake has a very low percentage of finding seeds. So the more expensive the item is to make, so like the diamond the diamond one or the gold rake will have the most uh likelihood of finding of finding seeds in the grass. There we go. So to be able to have the bone meal actually work for this mod, you have to change the config file. I'm actually going to do a video on that later on altering configuration files because Simply Horses has to have it done if you want it to work with Atmos mobs and I've actually changed the IDs for that and when I make my content pack that'll be put up 
so it can be added back into my uh, my content pack now, the jar file. And a few other mods require the change of config file as well as this mod for Bone Meal to work properly on the items. So that will be in a different video. So I have tested this with all the mods I had previously. Uh, I kept getting a, a crash and it was installed properly so it is incompatible with one of the many mods I had installed. I think there's about 24 in total. So I'm going to have to go through and find out exactly which one was causing trouble and see if I can't. Maybe if it's a fairly small mod, remove it from the content pack because I rather enjoy this mod with the apple trees and the orange trees. So I think it'll definitely be one of the ones that will be added to the content pack for 2013. So thank you for watching and I will see you later. Alright, so when you make your cold chocolate bottle or your raw mint tea over here, so you just have a water bottle and a mint leaf and a milk bottle with a coca bean. You have to, in order for the tea to work, you have to smelt it in a furnace. So you take your raw mint tea, put it in there with some fuel, and you will get regular mint tea. And same thing with your cold chocolate bottle. If you want hot chocolate instead, then you just toss that in your furnace. So you got mint tea now. Gives you a little bit of experience. And same with your hot chocolate. Once it's done. And there we go. Got some hot chocolate. That one didn't actually give me any experience.